Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the den. Another Wednesday, another shave. And we've got a good one lined up for you today. I'll show you this first. If you've seen the last video, the video I put up yesterday, I took a Colonel Conk that had been gifted to me and I melted it down and put it into this pot here. Here's the result, guys. Check this out, look. Woo, completely see through. It actually looks better now. Absolutely solid, look. Actually looks better. You can see my fingerprints on it. Looks better now than it did before I did it, but there you go. And it smells fantastic. So that's what we're going to be using there today. Uh, Colonel Conk Amber. So what we're going to be doing, look. P-A-A. There you go, get it the right way up. I always like to show you the bottom. PAA Amber Aerolite. Absolutely phenomenal brushes, these guys. And we'll put that there in the official John Shears Super Soaker. I'm not as loud and I shouted today because wife is a tad off colour. She's gone for a little sleep next door. So she's got her head down there. I've been off work, so I'm chilled. We're going to have a nice chilled shave and we'll talk about some stuff. That's the weapon of choice today, very kindly. I still I still have to stop and think for a second every time I say this, but this was gifted to me by Scouse Ian. Look at that, Blackland Vector. I stand as well, which you can see in the thumbnail. Absolutely stunning act of generosity. And he sent me about 40 of the blades as well. So the blade that I've got in there is from Scouse Ian. So you see this, Ian? Thank you very much once again, my friend. We'll put that in some water. I don't use it enough. And the reason being is all my prime razors, I keep in a drawer separate away from the shave den. Um, so when I'm making these videos, usually I'm rushed. They're the last thing I put my hand on. So I'm trying to buy some kind of small cabinet that I can put in the shave den and I can put these in there. Um, so that's why uh, I kind of dig them out, get them used a bit more. But that, thank you Ian, there you go. Ian also sent me this as well. well some uh, face moisturizer, this guys. This, this is brilliant. I mean, this is really, really good stuff. Uh, there you go, can you see it? Bergamot and amber, it's got amber in it. So it's gonna go very well with this today. The splash we're using, what? Jovan amber color. Classic cologne, let's have a sniff. Oh, <laughs> do you know, it lends itself really well to this amber shaving soap. Um, and Stuart George, Stuart George sent me that. And I get the right way up, get the right way up. There you go, amber cologne. Now, this smells exactly like this. So, what I'm going to do is I'll splash up with that and I'll put a bit of that on before I leave the den. Okay, glycerin based soap. I'm so impressed with that, guys, I really am. Uh, let's see how it does. Let's see how it goes. First order of the day. Coffee o'clock. Going on today, we're on Timmy's. It was bought for me, this. Timmy's French Vanilla Medium Roast Coffee. Cheers, everybody. Mm absolutely wonderful and there you go and that cup do you know guys i don't know if i've ever related the story to i'll tell you when we're in the shave that cup is the, the one and only time uh, i have, i think in the last 20 years i've ever lost my temper with anyone was when they used that cup and i'll explain it to you during the shave mm. okay here we go so let's wet the face you can see the cold sore is healing up, but look at that cut there, guys. Oh man, that just would not stop bleeding. It really wouldn't. Okay, here we go. Glycerin based soap. You're going to see it as I see it. I've used glycerin based soaps before. Never used Colonel Conk before. Looking forward to this. Let's see how we do. I mean, look at that, guys. Straight away, isn't it? Well, I don't think, I normally like to get a paste on the brush 
and then lather on the face. That may not be possible with a glycerin soap, but we'll see. The scent strength I would put on this at about a four out of 10. Um, but look at this, camera doesn't lie guys, does it? Yeah, absolutely, but that's rock hard. <laughs> it really is. Okay. So do you know what? We're gonna wet the face a bit more. So you're all thinking to yourself now, aren't you? I, I can't ever imagine John losing his temper. And do you know what, guys? Do you know what? In the last, I would say, 25 years, I haven't, apart from this one time. Hmm. Look at this, guys. Right, we need a bit more water, don't we? So we'll dip the tips. For a glycerin based salt, I think glycerin based salt get a rough ride. Hmm, but all the ones I use or have used have all been absolutely exceptional. We'll mm. dip these tips again, guys. Look, camera doesn't lie, does it? But it's very, very slick, very, very rich. Hmm. But bear in mind guys, this was a gift so I feel like I heal talking about price, I really do and it's not something I normally do but I will say it is a, um, because it's glycerin based it is a more lower budget friendly salt shall we say, I think at the moment they're on Amazon those for about £8, well, that's about $11, something like that. Let's see how we go. Love, 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 love this. I think we've used it twice before. Absolutely superb. Very smooth shade. Here we go. Blackland Vector. Uh, and what we're going to talk about, well, I'll talk about my holiday plans in a minute. I'm actually on holiday now from work. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Well, Blackland. Wow. Hey, eh? you, you, you could almost do a one pass with that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened, right? I used to deliver organic fruit and vegetables. And uh, first off, this cup was bought for me by my son. We went to London. I suppose this is where it has to start. I don't want to say too much. We went to London, but then my son... He took it ill um, and he was ill uh, suicidal there was a whole raft of mental illness and it was it was the most distressing time of my life and it ended up costing me my job so I found myself I went from truck driver to humping fruit and veg around at three in the morning on a fruit market, you know. Um, I don't regret it for a minute. I don't regret it for a single minute and I would do it again, you know, family first. But my son was ill. And just before we go any further, it took about 10 years for a specialist at the hospital to finally nail it down to um, his brain wasn't producing a very specific chemical um, and he was put on meds, the meds put that chemical in his body and he's levelled out and he's absolutely fine um, but at the time he took ill it, um, it started to manifest itself immediately upon return from London um, and he'd just given me that cup uh, so that cup there it's so why I've still got it, what, 15, 20 years later, that's why I've still got the cup, you know, I only use it every now and again, but anyway, so fast forward, it's about 2015, and I'm working on this market, 
delivering, uh, shifting fruit and veg and doing deliveries of fruit and vegetables. And we took on this new, new employee, a woman. Now my boss was a woman. And this new employee was a woman. And I won't say her name. <laughs> not that she's ever likely to see this, but I don't, I'm not into embarrassing people. I won't say her But anyway, this woman. Oh. Imagine the worst, the worst social justice warrior and the worst Karen you could ever encounter. all rolled into one and that was this woman oh gosh she was horrible horrible little harpy she was like one day a delivery came in late to us and we were waiting for pallets of fruit and vegetables from the european continent and it was late and it was coming from france uh, spain italy germany all them all delivered the stuff to france the, the French arm of the company put it on a truck and brought it over to us over here in Manchester. Well, it was late this one day and the boss came down. We were all stuck there, there was about eight of us. And the boss came down and he said, well, it left over 12 hours ago. So they don't know why he's not here. To which I replied, he'll be parked up in a lay-by eating the garlic and drinking French onion soup, won't it? Everybody laughed. Except for social justice warrior. She looked at me in front of everybody and she went, you're quite the little racist, really, aren't you? Well, at this point, guys, I was... I was absolutely tap dancing inside, absolutely tap because this woman, we'd been having this for months, oh, this woman, all of us, all of us had just had her up to here. And I don't know if you've noticed, right? But I noticed it before she'd even finished the sentence. What I actually said wasn't racist. It was xenophobic, but it was a joke. It was a joke. Mm. But um, if you wanted to be precise, it was xenophobic. So I said that to her. I said, actually, love, I said it uh, wasn't racism. It was xenophobia. If you're going to, uh, you're going to start hurling the insults. Maybe just educate yourself. <laughs> well, well. She wasn't going to let that lie. You know the type, don't you guys? Pride, prideful, vengeful, absolute harpy. So, she goes upstairs to make a drink. I'm going to make a drink. Does anybody want one? And I said to her, I said, no, I don't want one. I said, but just so you know, my cup is the stitch one. And I don't like anybody else using it. So please don't use my stitch cup. Okay, she says, okay. Cut to five minutes later. She came downstairs and her drink was in the stitch cup. Her cup of tea was in the stitch cup. And I said to her, I asked you not to use a stitch cup. And honestly, guys, that's all, that, that, to me, to my way of thinking, right, that's, there's no argument there, is there? There's loads of cups up there. Mine's a stitch cup. Please don't use a stitch cup. That's, there's no argument there, is there? So when she came down, our, our employer, our boss was there. All the other lads were there. Everybody noticed it very proudly, waving the stitch cup. I said, so I asked you not to use the stitch cup, didn't 
And this, this what I'm about to tell you now. Her response just highlights every flipping, every social justice warrior I've ever encountered. She looked at me with a straight face and went, I said, I asked you not to use a stitch cut and she went, but I wanted to use it. I said, but I actually went, Mum, but what does it matter? I said, it, it, it matters to me. I said, it matters to me. I asked you not to use it. Oh, she said, it's a cup. Get over yourself. Well, I didn't have to say any more. I didn't have to say any more. One of the other employees, in order to, um, in order to break deadlock, he held up, held up two small onions and compared them to anatomy. Oh, she threw the cup down, nearly smashed it. Oh, it's a knock her out. Threw the cup down, it didn't smash. Threw a pen into the box of onions. I don't have to take this, she says. And off she stormed out, never to be seen again. Filed a complaint for constructive dismissal and put down bullying. Bullying by Mr. John Chalmers. Oh, God. So. All the other directors had to come down. And they all had to walk through the warehouse to get up to the office. And they came in this one day, there was one, two, three, four, five, five of us, and the manager, the female manager, six of us in total. And they all kept walking through because they all had various other jobs and this was almost like a sideline for them. And they all turned up at the same time and they were all walking through the warehouse. And one of the lads went, oh, well, oh, oh. can we just stop you right there? And they stopped. They stopped these three directors. And every single one of them said, before you go up there to discuss what was said and what was done, he did nothing wrong. And they all went on to relate various stories about this individual. Uh, so her complaint was ripped up. There you go. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Look at that, guys. We got, did we do one of the mittens? I don't think we've done, I was so engrossed in the story. There you go, look at that guys. Three passes and lather mittens from that sort. Look at this, oh, what's going on? Absolute mess, now I'm on holiday next week. I'm not taking any, I'll put a shave up Saturday from here. But then we, we go, we go on Saturday so it'll be the midweek shave after that. I'm not taking anything. I'm just going to see what I can find. And do you know what, guys? I can't find anything. It has to be a plastic razor and can go. It is what it is. But you'll see. <laughs> there you go. You'll see. Oh, well, there you go. That was our shave. We did okay, guys. Look at that. We did okay. That razor is phenomenal. Isn't it? Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. You could go to a job interview with that, couldn't you? Here we go. Bit of jaw on. Oh man. Actually, did I say a bit? I meant a lot. Oh. There's alcohol in that, guys, yeah? There you go. So, anyway, let me know what you thought of today's shave. Let me know what you thought of the stuff used, the vector. Let me know what you thought of the soap. Oh, let me know what your shaves of the day are. Oh, no. Now I've put that cream on, mixed with the Jovan. Actually smells just like the soap. I'll empty this out. Now rinse a little bit of cold water over this soap uh, and I'll just show it to you here now. 
Um, so you've seen the previous video where I emptied it in. I just want to clean it up. Look at this, guys. I cleaned it up. There you go. Look at that. All ready for next time. I should get a job as a soap melter type of person, shouldn't I? There you go. Oh. I do not like <laughs> having to keep quiet because wife is next to one. Oh my word. There you go. But it's still warm. Have a great week, everybody. Stuart George. Amber. He did. Oh. oh my word. Look at this. What's going on here? Do you know, I'm sweating like a bull. I'm going to blame the heat. I'm going to blame the heat. Mega heat on the mega soft skin. But we did okay, didn't we, guys? Absolutely wonderful. Look after yourselves. Let me know what you thought of the shave. Let me know about your shave. And remember, be the change you wish to see in the world. And then you've changed the world, haven't you? Look after yourselves, guys, and I will see you on Saturday for the Saturday Shave. Bye.